Hi, today we're going to do a trance of what do I want instead? And if you've watched the first video, that was your homework on a piece of paper to put on the other side, what do I want instead? And this is an opportunity to future plan in mind all of the good things that you'd like to have. Now, sit for a spell and maybe just close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, just have an awareness of your breathing. And as you allow your breath to begin to slow down and deepen all by itself. In the TV in mind, I don't know whether you can see clearly or just get a sense of a bright future ahead of you. And whether you can see clearly or just get a sense doesn't matter because the more that you listen to this, the more that you're beginning to program your conscious and unconscious mind to work together. See, Einstein once said, our imagination is the preview of life's forthcoming attractions. And as you use this time here today to imagine waking up six months from now and a miracle has happened how would you know what would be different what would it feel like to feel energized alive and you've cleared any debts and your health is better and you have plans for the future what would your miracle be if you were to wake up six months from now and you've achieved beyond your wildest dreams. And my voice can blend into the background as you imagine your ideal day of waking up with energy. What are you doing these days that you're free? your bank balance like? Have you bought things? Have you moved house? What's that like? Have you healed relationships because you've proven that you have achieved this? and any trust is rebuilt and you are happier, healthier, wealthier and wiser and you have a core belief, never again, we go near that paranoid dust, inch of pleasure, mile of pain, done, I saw through the lies, as you realise, you see through real eyes the real lies that it told you and the spell has long since been broken and the energy and the aliveness you feel maybe you've took up exercise maybe you've built a business maybe you've spent more time building relationships and spending it with loved ones in a meaningful way and as you think about from this moment on, what is your path? What would you love to do? What would your legacy be? See, often I work with people that sometimes have used that to get somewhere in their business and then it flips and it no longer is helpful. And they've made enough money and I say to them, you understand the secret of that. What can you do to spread that knowledge and to impact positively on humanity? And you don't have to be rich to do that. Just one word to somebody or a phrase, a kindness can change somebody's day for the better. And as you think about going through your life and looking 
for what's working in life? What could I give that person a compliment on? Is it a piece of clothing? Is it a character trait? Is it their ability or their talent in an area? And as you spend your life looking for what's working, along with being focused on what do I need to learn to make things better? And being almost obsessed of looking for solutions. So onwards and forwards that you're walking that path to the bright future and that you have plans in place. See, most people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan and they spend life drifting along and they're at the mercy of other people's plans because they haven't decided what they wanted. And as a human being, we need to have lots of goals. See, if you have one big goal and you get it and there's nothing else to look forward to, sometimes people can go downhill quick. We know when they return from visiting the moon, the astronauts became depressed because that was the be all and end all goal. And now, they had nothing to top that, nothing to look forward to, but they hadn't considered the palette of humanity of what gives us satisfaction and pleasure and reward. And it is the relationships and the people that we can influence with integrity, the satisfaction of achieving goals, no matter how small, the fact that you know, today you did five minutes of exercise more than you did the day before, is worthy of achievement. As you find ways to be kind to yourself and to understand that all that you need is within you now. And if you had some people mentoring you that you admired or that literally wouldn't let you get away with anything, that keep you focused on what is for your highest good? What would those mentors be saying now and in the days ahead? I'm going to be quiet for a few moments so you can daydream. If you were to wake up tomorrow and to know that you're on the path to creating your miracle, what would be different? What would it feel like to get through a day there's no cravings, no thought of nonsense. Just a feeling of, mm, I'm done with that. What would it feel like to wake up a week from now and think, wow, it's been the best week in ages. And then a month from now, to feel even more empowered. Maybe you had a blip, but you learnt from it and thought, never again. You tricked me up. For the last time, I'm done with that nonsense. And what would it be like to wake up two months from now and the smile on the face lets you know you're free. And you can continue on this journey of living your miracle because it's sending a message to your conscious and unconscious mind. This is what I want. Show me how to get there. And make the journey enjoyable and easier than you can imagine. And yet rewarding that you know that is worthy to achieve. And now as I count back here, you can come back here if you want to, or you can carry on daydreaming. For as you take your freedom to know tonight as you sleep and dream, as you hand over to your mastermind team all of the nonsense, and you allow yourself to dream into the night of your miracles, to reinforce exercising the muscle between your ears, the brain, of what you want to achieve, to 
to imagine waking up in the morning with a smile on your face and feeling wonderful.